All right, guys, let's create a collage animation inside of DaVinci Resolve in the Fusion page. I had this little animation in mind. So yeah, let's go ahead and create this. I'm gonna start off by creating a new background. And here you can specify what resolution you're gonna go with, 1920 by 1080 or 4K or any other resolution, just specify it over here. Go to the color tab and we're gonna make this transparent then let's bring in our logo and I'm gonna just resize this. Bring in the image of Mark over here. First of all, this image has issues. There's this black spot over here. So I used a background removal tool, but didn't do a great job. So let's just manually fix that. Just create a rough mask around shape and you are good to go then add in a transform just change the position and all that stuff and also let's animate it on this transform so let's just create a slide in animation i'm going to slide it slide it in from the bottom so let's just go to frame 30 create a keyframe on center x and y and let's go back to the frame zero which is the very first frame and just push it down like so. Then let's go to the spline, go to displacement. I mean, just click on this displacement to select the keyframes and click on this zoom to fit icon. Then click on this icon, select all, hit F to smooth out the graph. Then with the T key, you get the ease in and ease out values, ease it into 100. You will end up with an animation like this. Then I wanna copy and paste this image. I want to have two images, one for the, the forehead and then the rest of the body. Okay, so this is how we'll do this. We will add in a polygon mask after the first polygon and we will just put this mouse three and just make sure this polygon is selected and just create a shape like this. We need to make sure that paint mode is set to subtract and click on invert. Let's take a look at this uh, transform one. You can see we have this portion over here, but in the transform one, we still have the entire body. So we'll just copy the same polygon and basically want to invert it. So select that and deselect this invert checkbox. So now you have this image and then this image, and we will, we're combining these two with this merge three. All right, so if you zoom in, you'll see this line going through, you can just go to this polygon over here, select these two points and just hit the down arrow key a couple of times and that should get rid of it. Now for the animation, we want to just kind of open this up. So we can do that with the angle over here. So we'll set the angle to negative 180 and then we want to change the pivot as well. So we'll just bring it right over here. And now if you change the angle, it will just change like this. All right, so for the animation, we will use anim curves. So right click on the angle, modify with anim curves, go to scale, set this to negative 180. And for the transition, for the source, we set this to duration, go to easing, and we set this ease out to bounce. And if you play the animation, this is how it's gonna look. Yeah, that is slow. So let's just speed this up. Make sure you select that transform with the modifiers. And what we are gonna do is we have time scale over here, set this to 2.5 and it will speed up the animation. Now you can see that the opening just happens from the very first frame. So again, let's go to the modifiers and this time we have time offset. Let's just increase that to 0.2. See what that does. Play it again. So it's going to wait and then our animation will begin. Next up is we're going to add some icons. They're going to pop up behind the body over here. So let's just add in some icons over here. Of course, you can rename them if you wish to do so. So let's just add in our first icon, add in a transform and scale it down. And you can just position it anywhere that you want. And you can just kind of rotate it as well. 
add in another icon copy the same transform and merge it up like so let's change the position rotation and the size as well let's bring in another icon copy the transform from here and add to another merge and let's place it right over here and reduce the size something like this and change the angle as well now as you can see the icons are in front i want the icons to be behind mark the way we do that is by layering the order of the notes or layering the notes one after the other um, now if i hit ctrl t on this merge 4 i will have my whatsapp icon behind his body but then we have this mismatch resolution over here so the easiest way to do this is by using a multi-merge so what i'm going to do is delete this merge from here and remove this connection and connect this whatsapp icon to this merge so we have icons separated from this um, animation over here um, so let's add in a multi-merge first of all let's just create our background let's give it a different color like so and connect this connect it to this multi-merge as the background then let's connect this animation to the multi-merge and then the icons to the multi-merge as well so now we have two layers over here in the multi-merge merge 6 and merge 3 you can rename these as well so merge 3 is our animation so you can go to multi-merge and call it let's call it mark and merge 6 layer is going to be our icons so if you take a look at this multi-merge this is what we have still our icons are in front now all you have to do is drag our icons under mark layer over here so as you can see that we have the m of the meta in front as well the way we fix that is by going into the transform over here let's go to frame 30 and move it up like so i'm going to copy this value and paste it on the second transform as well on the center y okay so um, that should fix it now the next step is you can see the icons are already visible so what you can do is you can go to multi merge over here and i want the icons to be visible after frame 30 so we'll go to multi merge select icons over here from the list and we have the blend so we'll set this to zero at frame 30 go to frame 31 and set that to one the icons won't be visible from the very first frame and then it will appear only after animation comes in now we want to animate these icons as well let's do that in multi merge itself so go to frame 30 and change the center x and y we create an animation there uh, bring it down a little bit and then let's go to frame 60 and then push it up like so somewhere over here then let's go to spline again make sure these are selected zoom to fit select all and hit f on the keyboard to smooth that out and hit t to get the ease in and ease out is it into 100 so it'll kind of look like these icons are pushing or opening forcing this um, lid to open now we're almost done next step is to add some more details into our scene i have this image over here that i'm going to use it's a grid background so let's just first of all you can see the resolution is quite huge for this i'm going to add in a crop node to this take a look at this and i'm going to select this option keep centered that should crop it up i'm just going to move it over here i'm going to connect that to this multi-merge take a look at this multi-merge now our grid is right in front go to the multi-merge and i have this crop layer i can rename this to grid bg now i can just move it under the icons over here and then you can just change the apply mode as well or you can just reduce the blend over here one cool thing i like to do is add some texture to this so for the texture i like to go to effects templates edit generators and scroll down till you see vintage texture drag that in 
let's add in our displays after the multi-merge like so I'm going to add this vintage texture to this displays take a look at this displays this is what we will end up with you'll have some little displacement in the text and in the background as well and of course everything we have over here so you can go to the displays and increase the offset quite a bit to get more of that displacement you can change the refraction and all that stuff right over here so yeah you can play around with these settings and you can increase the light power as well that will kind of add some more texture into your scene creating this really cool paper effect so if you play this this is what we have so far now after this place just add in a stop motion to this set this to three or four take a look at it and this is how it is going to look now yeah, you can add some movement to the icons as well add in a camera shake and I'm going to set the frequency method to square wave. I don't want any kind of Y or the X deviation. I just want the rotation deviation. And for the speed, let's just reduce that. So if we play this, this is how it is going to look. We have some movement in the icon. So I'm going to copy and paste this down below. And then I can just change the rotation deviation amount on this. Because we don't want to have the same animation all three you want to have different animations then you are free to use any effect that you like For example you can add in a prism blur after this and just stylize it however you want so I just like to add this aberration looks really cool in my opinion play around with the strength and all that stuff um, yeah that is essentially it you can then finally add in a media out to this and you can see the final animation over here so thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful uh, if it was do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one